In a world where humanoid robots are getting closer to everyday reality, a 31-second leaked video from a Chinese lab sent shockwaves across the internet. The footage showing a Unitree H1 humanoid robot thrashing violently while suspended immediately sparked debates about AI safety, robotics, and our ability to exist with intelligent machines. Originally surfacing on the Chinese platform Billy Billy, the clip quickly made its way to Reddit's oddly terrifying subreddit, where it gained millions of views and led to memes, speculation, and a lot of pondering. But this wasn't just internet noise. The incident has sparked serious talks within the tech community and increased concerns about how close we are to living the sci-fi nightmares we used to laugh at on the big screen. Is this a glitch? A rogue AI incident? or just another growing pain in the robotic revolution. Let's break it down. The clip that went viral. The now infamous video shows a Unitree H1 robot suddenly moving its limbs in an uncontrolled, aggressive looking motion. The setting is a clinical dimly lit lab, the kind that says secret testing in progress. The captions claimed the robot attacked the engineers while others simply said it suffered a systems failure during a test. It oddly resembled a human in panic or rage. And that's where things got a little too real for comfort. The reactions were instant and explosive. While some joked about Skynet, others expressed genuine fear. After all, these machines are no longer in the movies. Unitree's H1 is a real, purchasable humanoid robot marketed as a general purpose platform with applications in inspection, logistics, research, and entertainment. And it's not cheap. With a price tag of around $90,000, zero cents for the H1, and $16,000, zero cents for its smaller sibling G1, these aren't your average robotic electronics. They're complex, powerful machines now entering labs, startups, and studios across the world. Glitch, attack, or dance gone wrong. There's no confirmed cause behind the robotic outburst, but several tech insiders have put forward some theories. One of the better explanations is that engineers uploaded a motion capture dance routine without running it through some safety protocols. The idea, popularized by Six Live, a VR and robot combat developer, is that the H1 might have simply executed untested motions without real-time checks, resulting in its chaotic moves. If true, the clip isn't a sign of sentience or rebellion, but a misstep in robotics quality assurance. That doesn't mean it's not scary though. And honestly, I got extremely alarmed when I watched the video. I was just relieved the engineers weren't hurt. Because think about it, even a minor programming error can lead to serious physical consequences. These aren't your lightweight robots, by the way. They weigh over 100 pounds and move with hydraulic or electric power. This robot is not a toy. It's capable of running at 5.5 MPH and performing backflips. It's built for strength and agility. But when this strength goes haywire, what happens next? West versus East, different philosophies, different risks? The video has also caused comparisons between Chinese and Western approaches to humanoid robot development. In the West, companies like Boston Dynamics, Tesla, Agility Robotics, and Aptronic tend to focus on safety, gradual rollout, and brand protection. Their humanoid robots like Atlas or Optimus rarely appear chaotic in public. Everything is fully prepared, tested, and approved for media consumption. I mean, it can be said that the West controls the narrative pretty tightly. China, on the other hand, has been more willing to showcase raw, in-progress technology. Companies like Unitree and Engine AI are running public tests, synchronized dances, and even half marathons with their robots. Yes, it looks cool and all, but we have to agree it is a bold move. It may be a more transparent approach, yes, but it also comes with a greater chance of viral fail moments. Though I have to say, China isn't scared of its robots failing in public. That is, more than what some humans are willing to do. And here's the part that raises some questions. 
What exactly happened that caused this problem? And do we need stricter safety standards now? What people are saying. Reddit reaction. This is how Skynet starts. The robot's rage quit before the engineers could debug it. Funny until it rips someone's arm off. LinkedIn tech commentary. A famous tech leader said, this is a clear reminder of how unpredictable and dangerous humanoid robots can be without proper safeguards. Safety has to be the priority, not speed. Twitter slash X posts. This felt like modern day Frankenstein. It's like someone uploaded the wrong TikTok dance routine. When your robot decides it's done being a test subject, YouTube comments, Imagine this thing glitching out during a live demo at sea. That's why Boston Dynamics never shows the messy side. A glimpse into the future or a warning. Regardless of whether the robot's behavior was caused by an error, untested code, or some kind of failure, one thing is clear. Humanoid robots are moving fast now. They're here, they're learning, and they're moving fast, both literally and metaphorically. Unitree's mission is to democratize humanoid robotics. He even idolizes Boston Dynamics, but aims to bring similar power to the masses. That's ambitious and admirable, but it also raises new questions and challenges. Are we too eager? As a tech enthusiast, I love seeing robots dance, flip, and box. I'm rooting for this revolution, but I'm also realistic. Seeing a humanoid robot freak out, even in a lab, should give us pause. We're essentially giving arms and legs to AI. That's not so bad, but it's a responsibility to ensure safer standards for these robots. Let's get excited, sure, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. This wasn't the last glitch. If anything, this viral clip is a preview of what's coming. More public tests, more robot fails, more breakthroughs as well. The global humanoid robot market, worth around $2 billion cents in 2024, is projected to explode to $13 billion cents by 2029. That's not hype, that's a fair estimate. And once the robots really start thinking for themselves, let's just hope they don't remember this video. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more information on AI, robots, and new technology.